In multiplayer games, it's very common for each player to have a job. And no, not those kinds of jobs, jobs like these. In Dota, it's not much different, but some people take it a bit too seriously. In this video, I want to share a simple rule that will set you up with a winning lane straight out of the draft. The simple rule to follow is this. In dual lanes, pick one melee hero and one ranged hero. Obviously, it's basic and many of you are probably cringing right now, but it's often the simplest advice that is the best advice. Let me explain. In teamfights, you need heroes on your team fulfilling different jobs. Someone needs to give you vision of enemy heroes. Someone needs to soak damage. Someone needs to deal some damage. Someone needs to initiate. Someone needs to follow up. And it's often a combination of synergies between heroes that create a favorable result. Now if you think about it, the laning stage is just a miniature version of this where small synergies of your lane are put to the test against your lane opponents. The way most Dota heroes are designed is that a lot of melee heroes have kits that benefit from them being in the thick of the fight and a lot of ranged heroes have kits that benefit from supporting or dealing damage from a distance. This basically means that you don't have to go big brain mode and theorycraft the optimal duo to win your lane, you can just stick to this rule and chances are you'll have tools to do well in lane. Let's check out some examples. Say you want to play carry and your support picks Dazzle and you decide to pick Drow. Now I've seen this from 2k MMR unranked games all the way to 7k MMR solo ranked and it always ends with the Drow having at least 3 deaths and being forced to jungle early. Oh but Dazzle has a slow and Drow has a slow and it's a double ranged lane so shouldn't it be good? Well let's just imagine how the lane would actually play out. Who's gonna stand in front? It's probably gonna be Drow hitting creeps with Dazzle sitting nearby ready to assist. It may feel okay while the creeps are alive but once that buffer is gone, you're just two squishy ranged heroes asking to feed. Now, if you saw your support was an Ogre Magi, then it would feel a lot safer picking Drow, because Ogre can do some of the frontlining and be your bodyguard. If your support does pick that frail backliner like Dazzle, then consider picking something like Ursa. Now you're the Chad in lane with your buddy backing you up. I'm going to show you a few lane matchups, and I recommend pausing the video and thinking about which lane duo you would rather play. Like all rules, there are some exceptions. Here are a few to keep in mind. Double ranged or double melee combos. Sometimes the synergy between two heroes is so good that it provides reliable kill potential and puts the enemy at threat of dying whenever they enter a certain range. Examples could be ranged pairings like Venomancer and Viper, or a melee pairing like Centaur plus Tusk. Melee heroes that function like a backliner, and vice versa. An Earthshaker support doesn't really want a frontline for anyone. He just wants to Fisher from a safe distance, setting up a kill, or helping his core survive. Similarly, a hero like Bane has great base stats and trading spells for playing up in the lane. If it's a perfect game for a specific hero, if you're playing carry and have last pick, and it's a perfect Medusa game, by all means pick it. It would be silly to say you're not going to pick it just because you have a ranged support. Obviously, if you feel like it's a free game for a certain hero, you shouldn't restrict yourself because of some rule. The main idea is that if you don't have a foundation of how to win a draft, then just picking one melee and one ranged hero will be one of the most impactful things you can do. Dota has a lot to learn, and it's still important to know how certain heroes work and how certain matchups will go, but if you typically struggle in your laning stages or you frequently feel that your team's drafts are weak, then try implementing this simple tip. Thanks for watching guys. Do you guys have any rules like this that you feel give you a better chance to win? Comment them below, I'd love to read them. See you all next week for another video.